Hi, this is James Varney with NOLA.com, the Times Picune, in the backyard, joined as always by my colleague James Parker from WRNO. Today we're talking about AI or artificial intelligence, and apparently it's going to be the end of the world as we know it. Yeah, but it's not. It's going to happen long after we're dead. Look, the the, the big discussion, the debate that should be have is who's going to knock humans off the top of the food chain on Earth? Is it going to be the apes? Is it going to be the robots? My money's on the robots. Okay, so you you do think that sooner or later someone's going to knock us off the top of the food chain? But I mean, you know, there's a lot of smart guys. Uh, Stephen Hawking, uh, some other guy at Oxford just wrote a book about this. And they're all quite worried about it. They seem to think that we're going to, you know, turn the switch on one of these computers and it's just going to start bootstrapping itself with intelligence. The next thing you know, it's going to rule the world. Have you not seen Terminator? Have you not seen The Matrix? I mean, this the iRobot, this is going to happen. Here, here's the deal, though. Um, you're also going to see human beings kind of morph into the cyborg world. We have the artificial heart, right? They keep improving on that to where it's getting to the point where just cut out my heart and give me one of those artificial ones. It's going to work better anyway, like right? Like RoboCop or something? Yeah, and we're going to have all kinds of implanted stuff and it'll be just like Luke Skywalker getting the hand and you see all the mechanics and eventually he's going to be more machine than human but make, make no mistake about it at some point machines are going to pass humanity as the top and the ones in charge on our planet no well, doubt and and then but see i mean it's just so hard for me to picture so they they do they move around like this new movie chappy or do they just hang out in a building and they make all of Europe one big solar panel so they have an inexhaustible energy supply? Well, there's not going to be one type of robot that takes us over. It's going to be an so It's going to be a robot, not a computer. What 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 runs a, a robot? Well, a, computer. a computer. Sure. Right. So it's it's the artificial intelligence is going to surpass. Look, my computer's oh, already doubt... smarter than me in many in right. many aspects. Right. Yeah, I don't doubt that. It's just now there's there any way we can stop it? Is there any way we can make them good? Uh, no, on a long enough time scale, it's gonna go bad, right. and, and we're gonna we're gonna lose. But it'll happen after we're gone. Long you're sure. after we're gone. What about the little kids running around here? Are they gonna be robot slaves? No, nah, they'll they'll probably be enjoying the golden age of the robot slash cyborg. Driving era. their Look, cars, it, it, cooking start, their food. Exactly, it's starting right now. We're gonna have the auto driving cars within right. five years, where I can go get drunk in the quarter, come in, say, "Hey, send me home," and I can basically pass out at the the the, the, the steering right. wheel, and it'll take me home safer than I could have done on my own. There's going to be so much good stuff before it turns bad, but it will turn bad on a long enough time scale. But for now, there's always an upside.